only want to kill Liu Peng! I want to avenge you! I want to kill him so we'll never trouble you again! And now you want me to leave you? How is that even possible? Unless you ask me to commit suicide, let me die! Or let me die in the battlefield! General May, don't say such things. Stop talking nonsense! Your Majesty, I hope you can still give me a chance to redeem myself, all right? And how will you do that? Go back and attack them? Yes, I'll attack them again! Your Majesty, Your Majesty, yes, I admit defeat, and I don't deny it, but it was because Chobo and Fan Kui launched a converging attack at the battlefront. I found it strange why they stationed all their forces in the left camp. Even Liu Pao's banner was in the left camp. Your Majesty, I beg you to give me another chance. Lead your soldiers to attack them, or let me attack them one more time. Enough. Forget about it. Zhong Limei, get your wounds treated at Brestwell. But it's our last chance, Your Majesty! That is my order! Nobody shall attack without permission! The fires will be executed! That was a great prediction. Thank you. Zhong Limei has attacked us. Yes. And Shang Yu has ordered that no one should attack us. <laughs> Good. Then we should have bought time for our lord to heal. Reporting! Lord Chang, Madam Chi is here. I see. You're dismissed. Understood. Then I'll take my leave. All right. Prime Minister Xiao here so late. Did something happen recently? <sighs> Naturally, Prime Minister Xiao is here because of some urgent military matters. I know that our Lord trusts you very much. I assume he has left some very important instructions and wanted you to discuss with Prime Minister Xiao? <sighs> You're wrong, madam. Prime Minister Xiao and I did not speak a single word of the king. It's already late. You should go and get some rest, madam. Good night. The true army will not give us any trouble as of the moment. But there's still a very important matter that's unfinished. What do you mean? The Crown Prince! I don't think we know anything about that. Huh? Uh, now we may know nothing, but he knows everything! Prime Minister, we're all concerned with an important matter. Can't you tell us anything, Prime Minister, so we can put our mind at ease? I know what you're worried about, but... Matters like these should be left unspoken. Huh. Never mind. I don't care. But I only support just one as our crown prince. Trouble. There's trouble. Generals, something's happened. She's at it again. Who's at it again? Rui's mother. Emperor's son. Madam, 
Now we're in the middle of a war. By doing this at a crucial time, you are upsetting our soldiers' morale. That's right. Please think of the greater good. But I am a woman. I'm praying for my husband. I'm praying for the safety of my son's father. Am I wrong? Madam, you may think. Lord Shao. Let me ask you both. Do you have children? If you both were on the verge of death, would you try to stop your own wife, the mother of your own children, from praying for your well-being? Yes, you're quite right. Please forgive us. Madam, don't be unreasonable. Take them away! Understood! Lord, don't be rash! Send down! Prime Minister! Prime Minister! Madam! Prime Minister, the King of Han's Pulse is already very weak. We must come to a decision now, otherwise he'll be in danger. We should go to you, Young. You can follow us there, too. What kind of woman are you? Don't you even care about military morale? Huh? General Lu! Lu on! If anything bad happens to the King of Han, you would still be a general. And you would still be a strategist. But I will be a widow! You! Madam! All right, all right, generals. We must come to a decision right away. We can't afford any more delays. Madam Chi's fears are actually not without reason. Times have I been wounded, but I have recovered, haven't I? What is there to be so worried about? Stop talking so much nonsense, huh? You're built like a bull. Is our king as strong as you? Then tell me, what should we do? We can't delay anymore. Take our king to Ye Yan and get the royal doctor to treat him. I can't. The road is bumpy, and it'll make things even worse. Also, if news of this leaks out, our soldiers' morale will be truly affected. This can't work, and that can't work! Then what do you want to do, huh? Doctor, tell us, what should we do about our king's wound? Now, generals, in my opinion, pulling out the arrowhead will improve his odds 80%. <laughs> Did you hear that? Hear that? The doctor has spoken. Hurry and pull the arrowhead! Wait, this is critical. How can a camp doctor decide? Ah, uh, Xiaohe! We can't make the decision. But you're the Prime Minister, so you should decide! I think we better... ask the King's wife's opinion. something important that we need you to decide on. Lord Shao, I am in so much pain right now. I may not understand anything you tell me. Madam, our lord is severely injured. Should we pull out the arrowhead in his body? Please make this urgent decision immediately. Only his family has the right to make the decision. Madam, right now there's only you. Lord Shao, Right now, I am in such a state. And this is such an important matter. I'm not a doctor. I don't know if we should pull it out or not. I only know that if anything bad happens to him, I will follow him to the next world. You know 
just now I heard them talking about how to treat the King of Han's injury. They've been arguing over the Arrowhead for quite a while now. These people are really unkind. How can they ask you to decide? Then why shouldn't I tell them what I think? Come now, silly girl. You already spoke too much before. Whether we pull out the Arrowhead or not, if you decide then something bad happens, what will you do? My lord. Lord Shao. Listen, my lords. The king's condition is too severe. We can't afford any more delays. If none of you dares to make a decision, then I will do it myself. Madam. At this time, we shouldn't think too much. Doctor, you must tell me the truth. Of course. Will his life be saved if we pull it out? About 70%. 70? Didn't you just say 80%? Huh? That was a few moments ago. Now it's just 70? General, calm down. The chance was 80% earlier. But his condition is deteriorating even as we speak. Now, the more we delay, the less chance he will have of surviving. Do it. Understood. Prepare hot water. Hurry, prepare hot water. Understood. Understood. Hurry. He still needs to rest. After the swelling is reduced, he will get better. That's extremely worrying. We've done what we can to save his life. The rest is... Heaven's will. Well, all of you must be exhausted right now. Please go and rest. through the next few days, he'll be fine. But it's been four days, and he hasn't moved. He's just unconscious. Don't keep saying negative things. I'm just afraid. <laughs> Suppose the king is gone, and that time comes, what should we do? Who should we obey? I'm not thinking that much. I will obey our lord. Should that time come, and if that woman dares to speak her nonsense again, I won't be so courteous to her. Is it Madam Chi? Yes, who else? <laughs> that woman is just too domineering, and she only thinks of herself. Oh, it's too early to say these things. Yes. I hope our king will recover soon.
Who do you think will our king choose as crown prince? I don't know. Everyone's been asking, but Lord Xiao has been keeping mum. He hasn't said a word about it. If Liu Ying's chosen, I won't have anything to say about it. I'm fine with that. His mother is from Pei County, just like us. But if Ru Yi is chosen as Crown Prince, then everything will belong to Madame Chi. I won't stand for that. I will not have it. Don't get all worked up. A woman can pose a serious threat. But what if Lord Shao and Chobo support the idea of Ru Yi to be our Crown Prince? Would you still say that? I'm going if that happens. Good. Me too. If he never wakes up from this, the first one I will kill is you! Man. Let's go straight to Lord Shao and Chang Yan. My lord, with the situation now, I will go straight to the point. If our king truly does pass on from this world, what should we do? Who will be crowned prince? Madam, our king is still alive. Forgive me for being bold, but I'm just asking, what if... Lord Xiao, did our king tell you anything lately? He didn't say anything. He just passed out. Didn't say anything? Then I'll tell you. He meant to appoint Rui as crown prince. I can't stop you from guessing his intentions. Then you think he will appoint Lu Yi? The eldest son is usually the crown prince. Then Lu Yi will be the next king of Han. If Shang Yu used Madame Li as hostage, do you think Lu Yi can handle it? He is weak in character. Our military morale will be affected. Han will be in danger. Both of you are the most trusted ministers of our king. I will not say anything. Huh. All the ministers are here. 
Tell us what our Lord said to you. I cannot tell you what the king has said to me. To appoint a crown prince is of the utmost importance. Yet right now our Lord is on the brink of death. How can you? Please, Lord Shao. It's precisely because of that. I'm afraid that something will happen. What nonsense is this, General Fan? Calm down, please. You snake, I will skin you alive! General <laughs> Things aren't certain yet. Just calm down. But she- Appoint the crown prince. You can't wait, can you? Now you two, don't cause trouble. The king is awake. The king is awake. Your Majesty, please have some gruel. Covered. Let him rest. We'll take our leave now. Ever since the king was shot with an arrow, I was so afraid and lost my head. Thanks to you, he saved. You praise me too much. Prime Minister Shao was the one who took over. I only did what I could when the situation called for it. Removing the arrowhead was a big matter. Thank you. You saved our king's life. The doctor was the one who saved the king's life. I dare not take credit for it. We all did everything we could. It's all for the king, I understand that. But when I think of these few days, I was panicking so much and made a mess of things. I didn't take good care of the king. And I feel guilty about that. Don't talk like that. Now the king is all right. As long as you take good care of him, he'll be happy and will make a speedy recovery. I understand that. I know what I should do. But... There's something I'd like to say. If you'd permit me. Go ahead. If the Queen comes back... Well, I know she's never held me in high regard. It's not that I wish to impose on her. I just hope that I will not be bullied within the palace walls. Well, I... I know that you're doing 
everything for the good of the king. And you're an intelligent woman. I know you will not dare take my side. But I do hope that... you won't take her side too. I only take care of my own business. I don't really interfere with other people's affairs. My son Wu Yi is still young. He's not the eldest. The ministers don't support him one bit. I worry that someday, someone may harm us both. When that time comes, I am afraid I have no way out. Don't you worry. Everything we talked about will never make it outside that door, I assure you. I will not say anything to anyone. But there's something I'd like to say. If a pot of porridge has turned too lumpy, stirring it makes it worse. Liu Pang has already recovered? According to our spies, that is correct. Brother, it looks like we have missed the best chance. Now it's too cold and ice has already formed everywhere. This is not a time to attack. Don't worry. Next year, we'll cut off Lupang's head. Brother, won't you return to Pangcheng? The Han army hasn't moved, right? They're also freezing and hungry. We shouldn't hanker for comfort either. We must set the Chu banner. Steadfast upon Guangwu Mountain. Tu Chi, Inspector Kao, tell our warriors to use plenty of firewood, keep themselves warm, and not freeze. Understood. Then I shall leave. Mm. Your Majesty, it's so cold now. I think Liu Pang's family are hungry and cold, too. You're concerned about them? They are innocent, after all. And Liu Pang values them. Being good to them will be good for you, too. <laughs> Fine. I'll send Shangbo to pay them a visit, okay? If you have any requests, just let me know. I'll tell the servants to bring you anything you want. Thank you, Lord Shambo. Enough of this nonsense! Tell us, Kao Shi! Where is Mr. Liu? Stop it! <laughs> what a temper. <sighs> How is Mr. Liu? Madam, you needn't worry so much. King Shang has invited old Mr. Liu for a chat. I swear by my life that old Mr. Liu is safe and sound in his palace. I assure you, Mr. Liu is in safe hands. Thank you for your concern. Huh. It's my pleasure. I will take my leave now. If anything were to happen to Mr. Liu, I will make you pay! Why are you pulling me Why back? Why do you think I'm doing this? He once saved our king. We should be more polite to him. Enjoying himself out there. <laughs> but we have to lead such a hard life here. You shut up! Keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Madam, even when we were facing death, I've never seen you this agitated. What's really going on? The King of Han almost died this time. I think he'll soon name the Crown Prince. But you're not there. The 
I'm afraid Liu Ying will be left out. The king knows what to do. Medicine, Your Majesty. No, no more medicine. Look, I'm almost well. Now, come here and have a chat with me. You've done a lot for me these days. <laughs> As you said, I was just doing what must be done. You know you have guts. I knew you're the one who decided on removing the arrowhead. What if I had died? I don't really know. There was no time to think. And speaking of which, I'm indebted to you forever. Boji, do you know that the Queen will be here soon? Good. This is a good thing. worry. I won't only take good care of you. I'll take care of the queen as well. Do you really mean that? My lord, I already escaped death's clutches once. Ever since I came to your camp, everyone has treated me kindly. Each day, I get up at sunrise and go to bed at dusk. I do things that I have to do. I'm content and I'm happy. If someday you feel that I'm a burden, you can drive me away. I'll leave and I'll never give you any trouble. How could I do that? I know you're kind and compassionate and wouldn't do that. My lord, don't worry. As a woman, I'm well aware of what I should do and what I shouldn't. How do you know what you should do and what you shouldn't be doing? should learn to be contented. That is, especially true for women. If I don't cause any trouble, then you won't have any problems. If only all women thought the way you do. <laughs> the queen is sensible and magnanimous. She'll be of great help to you. It's strange. I don't know why she doesn't get along with Gigi. Uh, I think it's because Madam Chi is still young and knows little. Uh, my lord, you should drink this medicine now. No. Be good. <laughs> woman that the king didn't appoint Liu Ying as the crown prince. Don't worry about it. You're a general, and my sister is the official wife. When she comes back, you think that woman will get away with this? You know nothing? Huh. Do you think that Sheng Ye will spare your sister's life? Each day she isn't here is a day that nobody is helping Liu Ying. This may cause trouble. If I'd known that, I would have poisoned Chi Ji a long time ago. Don't you dare say such things! What are you so scared of? I was just merely thinking. Anyway, when my sister returns, she'll take care of that woman. Silly woman! You shut your mouth! What happened? Ruyi, what happened? 
Mother, I fell down. But where? Is this how you take care of the prince? I'm sorry, madam. It was my fault the prince fell. Don't cry, my son. I'll punish that maid. Oh, my dear little prince, you should really be more careful. Mother? Mother, look. She protected me and she fell too. Look at this. It doesn't matter if she gets hurt. But you should be more careful, okay? Let me give you a rub, and it won't hurt anymore. Please, this is all my fault. Don't punish her for this. Hurry and attend to his wound already! Yes. Please be careful. Rui, be more careful. <sighs> Rui is good-natured. Sooner or later, he will be bullied. make trouble for us as long as we live. The King of Han has just recovered. I don't think it's proper to mention this matter. Look, I'm telling you, now is the perfect time for this. When Li Chia returns, you and your son will be a speck of dust in her eye. If you miss this opportunity, and the King of Han recovers fully, you won't get to talk about this again. Slowly now. Don't worry. Take a rest if you're tired. Let's walk a little more. Just a little more. GG. You know, without you and Boji, I might have already died. I mean it. Don't say that, my lord. You are heaven sent. You will live a long life. Have a silver tongue. If that were to happen someday, I will go take Rui and follow you. Oh, don't speak nonsense. I expect you to raise him into an incredible man. But if I don't follow you, I'm afraid someone will want me dead too. What do you mean by that? I dare not tell you. I don't have it in me to tell you. Just tell me now. When you were in a coma, someone... someone tried to kill me. Who? Luan. Luan? Your Majesty, you're awake. Generals Chao Tan and Guan Ying have been waiting for you outside for a while. Why didn't you wake me up? You were asleep just now. I didn't want to wake you, so... Invite them inside. Understood. Wait. Prepare a horse for me. I want to take a ride right now. Understood.
dispatch our troops. Where will they go? To whom live, my king? The king of Han has stated it clearly in his letter. 